I am interested in showing these kind of films to Indian audiences. Uh, Oscar is an honor, uh, but the nomination is not my criteria. Let's focus on creating good cinema. Let's focus on creating imaginative cinema, intelligent cinema, and let's have a vibrant film culture in the country. My cinematic influences have been many, uh, but it is Mr. Satyajit Ray, India, also Frederico Fellini, Andre Tarkovsky, Louis Bunuel. Yeah. You know, as you mentioned, the film talked about the politics in India. Yeah. In the current scenario, whenever the film gets nominated for Oscar, recently there was a fight between the producers. You know, why, why they have given my film? Why, why not? Why this film? Why not mine? What would you say? The, you know, the fight which normally happens in Bollywood in the current scenario. What's your take on that? Though even your film is nominated for Oscar. I don't want to comment on uh, those two other films because I don't know much. And uh, my film is shortlisted for the Oscars. Uh, well, it's been a different journey with this film. Uh, it's an independent production, and uh, uh, we are happy uh, that it's there in the contention. Uh, that's good news. Do you, do you agree whatever happened in the past in, when you talk about Oscar? You know, fighting with each other for the Oscar. You know. What, what's your take on that? What's, what's your view on that? You know, being a, being a filmmaker, though you're independent one, you're the one who produced the film, who directed the film. It's a long journey. I've I, I just uh, want to uh, clarify that I have uh, really uh, not much idea about what went into that whole uh, uh, issue that happened. So I will not be able to give uh, uh, you know a proper comment on that. I would rather not comment. Yeah. Uh, I would like to know if anything Indian cinema is being nominated for the Oscar, like Lazama, but winning an Oscar is something very difficult for the Indian cinema. What is the constant in that? I think uh, I think there are very many uh, reasons. Uh, but I would say we have a great amount of talent in our country. We have a great, uh, uh, you know, we have great technicians. We have great infrastructure. It's just that we need to make uh, uh, something out of the box. You know, we need to make more intelligent, imaginative films. And I think, I think then we will be, uh, you know, able to uh, do a lot of things uh, in the international arena. Yeah. Although filmmaking is a passion for people, but you know, commercial films are being made just for getting the revenues as such. See, I think every film at the end of the day is a commercial entity. Uh, films are all commercial products, you know. But the important thing is uh, how much you can retain your artistic sensibilities while making your film. And that's important, that we retain our sensibilities, the artistic sensibilities which make our, our cinema different. If we retain that, I think uh, it's, it's, uh, it's beautiful. I think I think the, the the line between art house and commercial. I really don't think that's uh, 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 that kind of division should exist. We should have uh, uh, these kind of films coming into the mainstream market, and then I think they would also become commercial. Uh, 